The main talking point with the works switch driver revolves around, pun definitely intended, the rotating dual chucks. The idea driving it is to throw two different bits into the switch driver. Rather than having to switch drilling and driving bits in and out over the course of a job, you pull the red trigger and rotate the chuck. This allows you to switch from drilling to driving in a second. Click the link in the video description to see the latest price. Both chucks are one fourth of an inch hex lengths, which limits the size of the bit you can use. For most jobs around the house and even some punch list work, the switch driver is adequate for the task. On the safety side, there's a trigger guard running the full length of the handle. It gives you some protection from the bit that's not in use just in case you hand or fingers slide forward. The work switch driver offers you some control over the torque it's generating with a handy electronic torque control dial located at the base of the handle. The Works WX176L also has two gears that you can switch via the mechanical switch at the top of the unit. While this drill does lack a brushless motor and a belt hook, it does feature an LED light. If you're not crazy about the idea of trading your 3 8 of an inch chuck for a 1 4 of an inch hex, Works has more traditional models on its 20 volts platform. If you already read our shootout methods, we had to modify things a little for works. Its use of one fourth of an inch hex collets limits us to the bits we can install. That being the case, we could really only test this drill using the half an inch Milwaukee Red Helix titanium twist bit. In that test, the works WX176L registered an impressive 1260 RPM, 99% of the nullod speed we tested. A half an inch twist bit is pretty much as big as it gets before moving on to spade bits, auger bits, and hole saws. Sitting on a 99% efficiency rating tells us it's capable more, even in high speed. With two 1.5 AH batteries, you can get a lot of general tasks competed such as hanging pictures and installing shelves. You might run into trouble if you're building a deck, though. Normally. Cycling between two batteries gives you plenty of time for most any task, but it's the charger that limits what you can do more than anything else. However, you're looking at charge times in the 3 to 5 hour range. Your best bet to keep working is to grab a couple of extra 4.0 ah batteries to go with the kit. Click the link in the video description to see the latest price.